Hi, I'm Sean Human with Bone Daddy Bladeworks, back again to blow your mind as we continue our exploration of the Axis, a wholly unique cutting and chopping implement that reduces weight while improving functionality so that you can do more with less. In my previous video, we explore how the Axis can be used as a micro hand axe and the design features which are responsible for unleashing its awesome chopping power. However, I have yet to reveal what I feel is the most impressive feature of the Axis its ability to transform into a full-size axe. The first step to turning the axis into a full-size axe begins with selecting a haft. Lucky for you, the entire forest is your hardware store. Greenwood saplings tend to make the best halves, as they are more flexible and less prone to splitting. Once you have located a possible contender, use the opening between the forward and rear-facing triggers to determine if the tree you are considering is thick enough to function as a half. The wood should be slightly thicker than the opening. Once you have located a suitable tree with an adequately thick and straight stalk, you can begin by clearing away any branches, twigs, or rough spots that might exist along the portion of wood you intend to use. An 18 to 20 inch haft should be suitable for most tasks. Next, you may use the axis to chop the sapling into a more manageable size for further processing. In addition to your haft, it is recommended that you also chop an additional section which can be used as a light hammer for a later step. Set this aside for the time being. Use the axis to flatten both ends of the haft. Although it is only technically necessary on the end which you intend to mount the axis, flattening the grip end will also ease use and reduce the odds of getting a splinter. Now that you have a clean, smooth haft with flattened ends, it is time to assess the piece of wood to determine the best orientation along which to mount the axis. Although your haft may seem straight, most have some natural curve. You must adjust for this. The best way to do this is to hold the haft out in front of you at an arm's length. Slowly, start rotating until you find the orientation where the wood appears straightest and most in line with your arm. Once you have determined the straightest alignment, Imagine that line extending across the flattened top of the haft. Place the belly edge of the axis directly over this imaginary line extending across the flattened top of your haft. Using the additional section of wood you set aside earlier, gently hammer along the spine of the axis to split your haft. Do not hammer too hard, as this will likely cause your haft to split in two. You only really need to split an inch or so into the top of the haft just enough so the channel mounting wedge can be inserted. At this point, you may find that your haft is too thick for the axis to fit over the end and slot into the fresh split. If this is in fact the case, you can use the axis to shave the bar from either side of the haft along the split. However, it is important to remove as little material as possible as you want to maintain a tight fit between the axis and the haft. Use your wooden club to tap along the spine of the axis and seat it into the split alternating between the front and the back. As you tap the axis into the split, you will probably notice your half split a bit more from the pressure. This is normal and to be expected. You will know the axis is sufficiently seated when roughly two inches of the half extend beyond the top of the tool. But don't lose your head through premature chopping. Although the axis does appear to be mounted at this point, it is not yet ready for use. Using a good measure of cordage, begin lashing. I find a loop with a slip knot on the end of my cord helps to get me started. Be sure to wrap as tightly as you possibly can, sandwiching the axis between the two halves of the split. Once you've taken a few ultra-tight wraps around the top of the split, you can start moving down the haft, lacing through the mounting holes and applying even wrap pressure along the entire split. There is no dedicated wrap pattern to follow. How you lash your axis depends on a number of factors including cordage type and length as well as the type of wood and bark texture. I have mounted the axis to countless halves and I doubt I've ever used the same wrap pattern twice. Now that you have a fully hafted axis, you're ready to take on monsters. Chop to your heart's content. We are sure the axis can handle whatever you've got to throw at it. Just make sure to check your lashing ties regularly to safeguard against the head loosening. If it has, tighten as needed, then keep on hacking. Thanks a bunch for checking us out. If you like what you're seeing, please leave us a message in the comments below. Also be sure to check back in with us regularly as we release more videos of the Axis in action. Until next time, stay nasty my friends.